Yeah, yeah, say somebody has a bank account. But when he withdraws money from the account, he only withdraws $10, $40, or $50. What does that tell you? He's quite poor. He never has more than $50 in his account. Why not $5 or $1? He uses the ATM. ATMs do not issue $5 and $1. Why not say $30 or $20? Maybe this bank is a bit weird. It only allows people to withdraw $10, $40, or $50, and not any other amount. How about maybe this bank is really weird? It only allows you to keep in your bank exactly $0, $40, $50, but not any other amount. Oh! Like now if I have $50 in my account, I cannot withdraw $5 because I am not allowed to keep $45 in my account? Yep. So I can only withdraw $10 or $50? Yep. What if now I have $40 in my account? Then you are allowed to withdraw $40 or deposit $10. Any other transaction is not allowed. What kind of silly bank is that? Physicists noticed something very peculiar about the light emitted by a glowing hot gas. The light given out by a hot solid, such as tungsten filament, has a continuous spectrum. The light given out by the hot gas, like a sodium street lamp or a neon sign, has a discrete spectrum. It's like the difference between the notes you can play using a violin versus a piano. So why do gas atoms produce only certain frequencies of light? Like a piano can only play certain frequencies of sound and nothing in between. We start by making this bold assumption. The energy levels in an atom are quantized. An electron bound in an atom can only take on certain exact energy levels. It's forbidden to occupy any other energy levels other than these particular energy levels. The electron can be excited through electrical or other means to transition to higher energy levels. Whenever this electron de-excites from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, a photon is emitted. The energy of the photon is equal to the difference in the two transitioning energy levels. So, the quantization of energy levels in an atom means that only photons of certain energies can be emitted by the gas atom. Now, since the wavelength of a photon is related to its energy by E is equal to hc over lambda, the quantization of energy levels in an atom means that only photons of certain wavelengths can be emitted by the gas atom. For example, say this atom has these 5 energy levels. Since there are only 10 different possible down transitions, there are only 10 different possible photon energies, resulting in 10 discrete spectral lines. That's why the emission spectra are discrete lines and not continuous bands. Because the quantization levels for each element in the periodic table are unique, each element has a unique emission spectrum. It's like a signature. The so-called multicolored neon signs actually do not always use neon gas, but different gases such as helium, neon, argon, krypton, and xenon to produce different colors. I get it. It is like if I were on a slope, I can jump whatever distance I want. 50 cm, 50.1 cm, 49.83 cm, whatever. But if I were on a staircase, I can only make jumps equal to the distance between steps. You got it.